In the world we see and touch, the rules are simple. An object is either here or it is there. A ball thrown at a wall will always bounce back. These are the certainties of our macroscopic reality, the world built of trillions upon trillions of atoms. But for the last century, we have known that beneath this solid reality lies another universe, governed by a set of rules so bizarre they defy all intuition. This is the quantum world. In this microscopic realm, a single particle is not a tiny ball, but a wave of probability. And this wave can do the impossible. It can exist in a place where, classically, it has no energy to be. It can leak through a solid barrier, disappearing from one side and reappearing on the other without ever breaking it. This is quantum tunneling. For nearly a century, we believed this ghostly magic was confined to the world of single particles. It was a rule for the very small, but not for the world we live in. The story of tunneling is woven into the history of modern physics. It was first used to explain the mystery of radioactive decay, how a piece of an atomic nucleus could escape the immense forces holding it together. It's the reason the sun can burn, allowing protons to tunnel through their mutual repulsion to fuse and create light. The 1973 Nobel Prize was awarded in part for observing electrons tunneling in semiconductors and superconductors, the workhorses of modern electronics. At the heart of superconductivity is a strange and beautiful phenomenon. In extreme cold, electrons, which normally repel each other, pair up into what are called Cooper pairs. These pairs behave not like individual particles, but as a single unified entity, a vast synchronized dance that flows through a material without any resistance. They're described by a single shared wave function. They act as one. This led the great physicist Anthony Leggett to ask a profound question. If billions of Cooper pairs can act like a single quantum object, could the entire system tunnel at once? Could you build a circuit, something big enough to hold in your hand, that would behave like a single giant particle and pass through a wall? This concept was dubbed macroscopic quantum tunneling, or MQT. It was a modern-day version of Schrodinger's famous cat paradox, testing the absurd limits of quantum mechanics on a scale we could actually see and measure. This was the challenge taken up in the mid-1980s at the University of California, Berkeley. There, Professor John Clark, his postdoctoral researcher, Michel Devoray, and his doctoral student, John Martinez, set out to build an experiment to witness this impossible feat. Their device